Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Records. Looking up at the Unknown Signal because I, uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the Hunting the Unknown mini-series. Posting that up on, uh, on Wednesdays is, um, it, it's, it's been fun. It's given me a quick little distraction, but I will say I am feeling a little creative and... That means that today, I think, I'm going to fix the holes in the base. Um, although, man, I do really appreciate how easy it is to fly in and out here. So maybe I'll turn that into a more permanent uh, permanent access point. Uh, this, this hole here, however, definitely needs to be filled up. Uh, anyway, um, I've got holes to fill up. I've got a turret tower up here that is still being welded. It's been doing a pretty decent job of getting the metal plates going into it first. Um, but that's because I went ahead and re- Oh, re-prioritized uh, the refineries. That re-prioritization um, was uh, pretty, pretty straight, pretty simple. Uh, I went ahead and dumped the titanium. Yeah, I put the titanium in here, uh, and because this is a. Uh, because it's not connected, yeah. I just figure I'll get a bunch of the iron welded up or turned into ingots before I worry about putting the titanium back in. Now, I know that there's a setting that I could set in that to make it so that it always does iron or first. But I guess I don't necessarily want it to always do iron ore first. I don't know. Either way, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go grab this unknown signal. Because I haven't grabbed any in a while, and who knows what I'll get with this one. And then I'll bring you back for when I work on my first project. You know what I think I'm going to do? Let's go piss off a cert. They've been... Uh, claiming these these space lanes as their own for so long now I bet I can uh, I bet I can take one on I know that's going to involve some drones coming in at me all right oh I've got no hydrogen I need to stockpile hydrogen before I Before I get going. Ugh. Okay, let me go figure out where the hydrogen is. Okay, by the time that I got out here and got chasing after that Star Destroyer, or whatever it was called, it, uh, it had despawned. But, another one has spawned, a Voyager. So, let's take a look at this. Those look like two, uh, what are they called, oxygen generators, there and there. What happens if I get within 200 meters of you? Hmm, that's right, don't mind me. Just sitting here. Come on, give me a targeting crosshair. Uh, 
I think I have to get within 1.5 kilometers to get a targeting crosshair. Oh, yeah, that's right here. Gonna go fat. There we go. Come on. Okay. So if I line that up perfectly. There, now I can take out parts of the ship with one shot from the railgun, and I'm going to guess that... Well, I was going to hope that that was a... Uh... Oh, what's it called? Alright, let's take out this gun. Do I take out the gun or do I try for the remote control block again? Let's take out the gun. Gun is disabled. Let's get in here and have our... I think I just took out it. Yeah, here we go. I took out a drone. I'm still locked on to this. Let's shoot through right here, maybe? Well, I got rid of its gravity generator. I don't know if there's any way to tell where the remote control block is, but I think I've pretty much disabled this side of it. So let's come in for a landing. Oh, I was coming at the f bottom side of it. I don't see the uh, remote control block in there anywhere, but uh, maybe I uh, maybe I got it from the inside there. Alrighty then. So, Inventory not full. much left of that gravity generator, but there's some pieces of gravity components, so let's grab them, they're valuable. And I'm not going to accidentally destroy them this time, because I know I can only carry one at a time. Alright, well that's going to be boring to watch. Uh, I'll do this and bring you guys back in a minute. 
All right, it looks to me like the remote control block or the uh, whatever it's called, the autopilot block has been taken out. Maybe that was what that third shot did. Taking out whatever this block here was, that kind of makes sense. I, that follows the aesthetic that I'm familiar with from Splitzy. The remote control block would have been right here, looking forward. That's kind of why I was aiming where I was. But let's, uh, let's do a little bit of repair to some of these blocks. Just to get this place looking a little, uh, less beat up take a look at what we just netted ourselves. So, we've got a probably civilian exploration ship. Man, look at this canopy on this. this uh, that's a good that's a good view. Lots to see. It's a shame I didn't even notice if a, uh, oh, what's it called, had, uh, was when it was taken out, the drone. I didn't even notice when the drone was taken out. Alright. Uh, access denied to the, what's it called, um, Antenna, large cargo lab equipment, and those are incomplete. This is also incomplete. That's why I can't gain access to it. Okay. Access denied. Lots of access denied. Was that's not all of the thrusters. Hold up a second. Oh yeah, there's all of these, and then there was only two of the ion thrusters. And then nothing. Okay, so let's speed along the hacking. Inventory full. Inventory full. And anything in this? We've got some space credits and a handsome adventurer's log. Right. So wherever that uh, oh, what's it called? More more credits. Mm. A bathroom. Inventory full. Inventory full. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'll have to go back outside and figure this out this way. Now, there was a gun over here would have shot me right in the noggin. Thankfully, it didn't. Oh, wow, look at the size. It's a huge ion thruster. And look at all of those useless pieces of scrap metal I would get if I ground it up. I'm not a fan of that choice. I think if you put the effort into claiming and pirating a big ship, then you should be able to reap the rewards, not be arbitrarily forced to, uh, I don't know, not get it. It's one of the reasons why I haven't been bothering to go against these things. Ah, <sighs> well, but anyway, I'm going to see what is in this, uh, if anything. Inventory 
inventory full. Anything? Inventory full. An interior plate. I guess there's some hydrogen. That might be worth bringing back. Did I did I miss something? Let's put that down. Uh, oh, F ten. Floating objects. Distance from player. Assert hydrogen thruster. Power kit. Well, I'm not, that's what's supposed to be the loot. I'm confused. Why is that a floating object and not a small grid? By picking up the assert hydrogen thruster, you have unlocked new things. So this is apparently the the changes to the sort of uh, mod system that we were talking about. Hmm. Thrusters. Assertive hydrogen thruster. Well, I suppose if I am trying to figure out what that is, I'll I'll figure it out later. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile for this uh, this mod though, because or this mod pack, because I have these thrusters, right? Like these are way better than the assertive. The assertive ones only gave like an extra 25% or something like that. Uh, well, that's a little disappointing. Oh well. Uh, we'll do something else. Out. All right, well, I've brought it back. She barked. Somewhere around the entrance here. There it is. And I'm just going to grind up most of everything except for that hydrogen tank and maybe those two fancy thrusters because, yeah, I don't know, I don't need to destroy them. Don't get anything out of them if I do. So I have discovered one thing about these assert thrusters, which I guess would have made a difference at the beginning uh, before I found some plutonium, not plutonium, platinum. You do get the 80 thruster components from this, because it's designed where you're able to take these off of the ship and put them onto your own ship. So, yeah, I suppose that is better than nothing. And with, what, maybe two of them per ship, you could end up having a, a minimum of six in any direction for a large grid. But just one of these would be decent enough for a small, small grid ship. Of course, taking out a full-size assert vessel when you don't even have a small-sized, uh, small grid ship. Eh, good luck. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna cut this off a little bit further, and then drag the tank by itself back inside using that. Whee. 
Alrighty, so I have recovered everything, uh, got the hydrogen into the base, and I have those two assert special ion thrusters waiting. Um, yeah, I mean, I gotta... Uh, who knows what I'll use them for, if anything ever. But uh, they're here, and I will... Hold on to them. Um, but next, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish repairing the base like I suggested I would. Maybe make some changes here so that I can fly in and out, like, uh, intentionally. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on getting some lighting stretched out through the interior of the entire cavern here. Because I think the next thing I'm going to work on are the doors. I've got a pretty neat idea for how to make them work. So, yeah, let me get started on it. Alright, so... I have laid out a basic frame for where the side length pieces are going to go. I just put them down in a basic steel block, an armor block. And I'm wondering, maybe I ought to have done it in something that's a little more visually interesting, like a uh, like an I-beam here. But, um... I think, it'll, I think it'll make it work. Anyway, I think what I have to do here is come in with the number two and clean out a little bit along the top corner here, just to make it so that it's more uh, more space to fly. More, more space for this trussing. Uh, there we go. Okay. So... Somewhere up in this area. Yeah. I didn't want there to be too much of a big old gap there. I think that'll work. Maybe a little bit more there. And now something similar on this side. And I'll get it into the middle before I can worry about getting it on the back side behind me. I guess I still consider, even though I'm using the left door more often than any. Thing. I consider the left door to be the back door. So, ah, who knows. Anyway, this is where I'm at with it currently. I'm going to weld these all up using the regulations violator. And uh, add lights to it. And places like this where it intersects with the voxels. I kind of like that. It's almost like it's built in to the terrain on purpose. Like they're anchor points holding it in place. And I might put things like this as well uh, in stretches where there's less connection, like right in here. Have it be a little less, uh, a little less uniform and symmetrical, and have it just be, you know, positioned where it makes sense for it to be. I had considered like welding these up together, uh, and then like connecting this to that, but I hadn't realized that that whole arm was bent backwards. So.
maybe I'll play around with where those arms are reaching and the angles that they go at uh, to see if I can get that to, to fix up again. I'll bring you back when I've got more played out. So here's an interesting thing that happened. I built this tower up here. And then instead of putting this top block where I did, right, I snapped it to the side of that block, which then I saw it like it pulled everything together. I heard the noise that the piston makes. And now this piston head here is part of the main base. Like it's, uh, here the apple farms are, are in white. They're part of the main base. So that's interesting. So over here, I put a couple of merge blocks, or not merge blocks, um, weld blocks, and I'm gonna go ahead and have this rotor. It's not locked, it's turned on, it's velocity. Oh wait. One of these up here is a static grid. Which one did I do that to? Uh, it would be this one here. There. And now... Yeah, look at that. Now we've got the weld pad distance. So, velocity... And it's a static grid now, and then this thing's velocity can go back to zero. And now, I could actually replace these pistons and hinges here with just a line of conveyors. And I think I actually will do that, because then I can have conveyors up higher, like this one, at different points here and here. Like, I don't know that there's another turret in this general direction, because that one going out that way and then this one going out that way, I think, are the two on this side. But I know that there's going to be more turrets going out that way on that side and up there. So, you know, having having that conveyor line built up is good. Cool. Glad I figured that out. I'm going to take a break from doing uh, building to go and assault that assert ga gas hauler, Telesto gas hauler. Uh, maybe it's got gas I can steal. So, let's go. Uh, lock that up. Get these doors open here and here. And before I go, yeah, I've got to get some tanks myself. The tanks on the base are about 70% full, so we'll see how well this does. I'm wondering if... I don't know, I've never seen a Telesto gas hauler before. I don't know what it, they look like. So, uh... I can't tell you for sure if I'm going to be able to do my typical sniping thing here. Oh, it is... Shadowed. There's not much going on that I can see yet. I'm looking at maybe solar panels. Well, let's uh, let's get close to it. Get it to move. I'm going to spin around to the side. Oh, and they've got incoming friendlies. I'm 
I'm not seeing those friendlies register online. Anything yet? Okay, here we go. Alright, so now that this is in view, let's uh, let's try to snipe some pieces off of it. Hmm? up inside the range of those guns. Let's take out this gun at the top. Nice. And then that's a gun on the back. Don't close the gap too fast. 66.6 Yep, 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 yeah, you got me. Good for you. Where are your allies? I'm, I'm used to these things having a, uh, plethora of drones that they call in. Yeah, that's that's me. I'm the unidentified craft. Coming in on you. And I'm locked to it. Now, it's got those gas tanks on the bottom just like I wanted. That's nice. I'm trying to see, like, its antenna is off? That doesn't seem good. Oh. Yeah, try. Got a gun on the bottom. Good for you. I must have triggered a sensor or something. Come on. I guess I'm going to have to take that gun off the bottom. Hopefully that did not damage one of the tanks. Now without a gun on the bottom, I, I'm going to guess it's going to stop trying to angle a gun at me. I was sort of considering coming in here to... Uh, To, like, hack it the normal way, not use the hacking computers. But if it's going to be problematic, then I want to do that. Yes. Hmm. 
how do I go ahead and latch onto you? Come on. Hmm. Yeah, you can go ahead and deploy your defense. There we go. No. What's going on? Well, I'm going to figure this out and I'll bring you guys back. Well, this is slightly different. I have latched onto it, but it kept trying to jockey for position to get out of where I was, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I had to kind of get a funky position on it, and now it's actually flying away. Um, like, if I turn on my dampeners, it tries to turn on its... it wants to keep going. So, presumably, it's got an active, uh, remote control block in there still somewhere. Hey, look, you can see a sensor right there. I'm really surprised that I haven't gotten any... Any, uh, any assert drones spawned in on me. Like, I don't get that. That's probably not working correctly. But anyway, let's hop out and... See if I can find an access panel to... Okay, I think it just detected me. Yeah. It's trying to throw me off or something. And dang, that thruster is bursting through the front of my ship. Ugh, this is annoying. I don't want to, like, just take it apart piece by piece. I want to get as much of it as I can on my side of things, and then... claim it because I want to be able to use the hydrogen in there. I mean, that's... Jeez, four full tanks of hydrogen. That's great. Alright, we'll give it some time to get the hacking done. Those hacking computers are working away. Attempting on the gravity generator, O2, H2, a battery, flight seat. Like, if I can get all the batteries and the generators, all the power, I can just go in there and turn those off manually. But if its sensor is going to keep sensing me, if it's... Yeah, this is funky. I'm going to give it some time. Look, see, now the grid registers as my grid now. Look, it's green. No, that still wants to fly whatever direction it's flying. And it's still calling for help. Ah, okay. I'll figure this out and bring it back. Okay. I hopped out and I turned off their power. And it's calling for a dang defense grid. But I guess I didn't turn off all the power? But there's one more. Uh, okay. In remote control block. Obviously, I'm not going to get that. Here, let's uh, turn those off. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't have enough power to control everything now. 
And I'm getting more things as we go. This gyroscope, off. Oh, the gyroscope, off. Stop spinning, stop doing everything. All these iron thrusters, let's get you off. Let's get these two assert ion thrusters off. Now let's get back in here. Come on. And stop everything. Stop the ship, stop moving. I've got two assert ships out. Oh, you bay. Okay. Gonna go ahead and dig through the ship now. Um, I feel like I have most of it. And try and find the... Remote control block. Oh, that's an interior turret. But it's not attacking me. Okay. Boy, a little funky, but I think I caught this one. Now I just need to bring those tanks home. I might just slice it off manually and bring the tanks home alone using the Espelta. I think that that's probably going to be better. Well, that's not good. Those two ships are coming toward me, and now they're the ones calling for drone support. Ugh. All right, well, I haven't found the remote control block yet, but I'm coming through here turning things off. Uh, I've got some soda. Space chickens, I'll read that in a minute. Um, anything else particularly interesting? I know uh, Splitsy likes to put things in the beds. some ammo. Another set of lockers. Here we go. Nothing. Cargo container. Cargo container. So that remote control block's got to be somewhere like inside here somewhere. I bet you it's in there. Nope. Can't be that well hidden. No, that's right, it's my Telesto gas hauler now. Underneath one of these blocks. Nope. Underneath this block. Nope. Oof. Oh man, we got really close to that asteroid. Well, interestingly, the hacking mod, the hacking computer, can hack those remote control blocks and turn them into regular old remote control blocks. And it looks like it was underneath that steel catwalk. But if it's letting me control everything now, and ev like everything on this ship is mine, according to here, um, the info on it is it my blog? My grid? Everything's mine except for the incomplete solar panels. I guess I might as well bring it home. Hmm.
Well, that's weird. I just turned the batteries back on, which apparently repowered the remote control block, and the remote control block's not there anymore. So, the coating on this ship that uh, would have allowed me to take it over is gone. So, okay, now can I can I turn it back on? Those are back on. Where's the battery? Did the batteries get turned back on? Okay, so the coating for the grid as part of the spawn would have depowered it and turned it off when I destroyed the remote control block. The remote control block got depowered and destroyed. Got that. Got these tanks, they're 99% full. Stockpile them. Let's grab these solar panels. Turn them back on. And yeah, because those thrusters are no longer, um, oh, what are they called? They're not, uh, they're. I can't use them. I can't turn the thrusters back on. I, I think. Well, let me double check. Maybe I can. These ion thrusters. Yeah, see, I can't control them. It's because they're the... Um, NPC owned ones. Or maybe, maybe let's putz around a little bit more with the configuration and see if that's true or not. Uh, thrust override off. Let's turn all of them to have a thrust override disabled. Hey, look at that. Let's try these gyroscopes. Turn them back on. Hey, that works too. Alright, well, hey, maybe this isn't as uh, problematic as I expected it to be. I'll see you back at the base. First real test of the welding system. Jeez, I don't think that that went very well. On the uh, on the parts with the nacelles sticking out, I do like to. Uh, back a little bit left and right just to give it a go but okay well that's uh, something I should be careful of <laughs> I think I think I saw a magazine go flying out the back I'll have to grab that okay and that should be everything let's carefully back away so I don't have more uh, problems like that. Oh, and now they are out of sync because one of them is on and one of them is off. Or... Okay. I'll fix that in a minute. Alright. I uh, don't necessarily want to be wasting pieces repairing this. Oh. Get my inertial dampeners on, thank you. That was close. Uh, but, so I've turned off the, the repair sh the pair well the repair welders. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and bring this right on in. How it was designed to 
be connected at the front there. Now, I'm not sure of my clearance on either side or above. So I might actually want to go below the Espelta. Get it in there and get it connected. Oh, there we go. I'll get it in there, I'll get it connected, and then I'll probably grind it up. Because I don't want to keep this whole thing. Cool ship, though. Ooh, there we go. All right. Now to put all of that hydrogen into the base. So that's how much is in these tanks right here, 73.5%. Let's turn on their stockpile. Oh, and I need to turn off the stockpile on the tanks on this grid. Of course I do. And... One, two, three, four. Stockpile off. There we go, up to a hundred percent on these tanks. And now the the Espelta is at full tanks, so let's take the rest of it and put it into the sled here. There. And that's going to draw, bring us up to probably... Well, over 25%. 30%. Not bad. Not bad at all.
All right, guys, that, uh, that should be a fun little time lapse to put together. Hope you enjoy it. Anyway, I am looking into how much material I've gone here. 16,000. Not that much. And 700 something metal grids. I think what I need to do is go ahead and get my steel plate here. I think I want that up to 30,000. Yeah, and then for metal grids, I want that up to 5,000. And so I'm going to let those build up so that when I go ahead to make my next turret tower, I'll be able to just weld it in one go. Um, but hey, uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. And I hope you join me for the next episode of Survival Records. And until then, I'm going to go get a drink of water and say thanks for watching. Oh.